Good morning KGs! Today is Sunday and we are now in our week 13 of our online learning class. Welcome back to our math time. We are now in lesson 7, count by tens to 120. Our objectives are to count by tens to 120 and to count a large group of counters by tens. Before that, Please be ready with your book and your pencil. Are you ready now? Very good. Before we proceed to our next topic, let us review first our past lesson about skip counting by 10. Remember, one cube train is equal to 10. You can simply count the number of groups of group train and add zeros. So let us continue counting these cube trains by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Very good. We will use our knowledge in skip counting by 10 to our new lesson for today. Now, take a look at these examples. We have here groups of cubes. So to know how many cubes are there, we will count it by group or by tens. For example, number one. So how many groups are there? Remember, one group is equal to ten. So how many tens are there? Let us count. One, two. You are correct. We have here two tens. And that two tens, we will write it as two and zero. That is twenty. Two and zero is twenty. Remember, you can simply count how many groups are there Write the number and add zero. Did you get it? Very good. So, let's do number two. Again, let's count how many groups of tens are there. One, two, three, four. We have here four tens. To write the number, write four and add zero. Four and zero is 40. Again, what number is this? 40. Very good. Now look at this table. We have here 110 is equal to 1 and 0, that is 10. Two tens or two groups of 10, 2, 0, 20. Three tens is equal to 3 and 0, 30. 4 tens, 4 and 0, 40. 5 tens, 5 and 0, 50. Look at the red marks. So, you simply write the number or how many tens are there and add zeros to get the correct number. We have here, just like in skip counting, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And... Please familiarize yourself with the number names as well. Let's continue. Six tens is sixty, six zero. Seven tens, seventy, seven zero. Eight tens, eighty, eight zero. Nine tens, ninety, nine zero. How about this ten tens? Meaning there are ten groups of ten. So simply Write 10 and add 0. If you see 1, 0, 0, that means 100. So this number is 100. Now, how about these examples? First, let's count how many group of 10s are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
we have here 11 tenths. So, to write the number, again, write 11 and add 0. But, if we're gonna read this number, remember in three-digit numbers, the first number is 100. This means there are 100. So, we will read this number as 110. So, what number is this? 110. Very good. How about the next example? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have here 12 tenths. So, you will write that as, again, write 12 and add 0. But how will you read this kg? Again, remember, in three-digit numbers, the first one means 100. So, this is 120 because 2 and 0 is 20. Again, 120. Very good. Let us start doing your classwork on page 875. In this picture, Marta puts counters on some 10 frames. What is the easy way to count how many counters there are in all? Count how many and write the number. So the simple way of counting how many counters are there, again, you may just count how many groups of 10 are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, write 12 and add 0. You may ask me, teacher, why would we add 0? Why do we need to add 0? Because this is a group of 10. Meaning, you have to add 0 to get the correct number. Or, you may also do skip counting by 10. Like, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Still, the answer is the same. So, there are 120 counters in all. Did you get it, KG? Very good. Let's continue doing your classwork on page 876. We will count by 10. We will write the number and the number word. For example, number 1. Count how many tens or group of tens are there. 1, 2, 3. We have here three tenths. Three tenths is 30. Write 3 and add 0. Then write the number name 30. Let's do number 2. Again, how many tenths are there? 1, 2. We have 2 tenths. And 2 tenths is equal to 20. You may just write 2 and add 0. Then write the number name for 20. Very good. Let's proceed on page 877. So, same thing. Add how many groups of 10? To know how many 10s are there, write the number and the number name. Let's do number 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have here 12 tens. To write the number, write 12 and write and add 0. So that is 120. Remember, in three digit numbers, 1 means 100, or the first one means 100. So that is 120. Then write the number name for 120. Let's do number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have here 10 tens or 10 groups of tens. So, to write the number, write 10 and add 0. 1, zero, zero is 100. Very good. How about number 5? Count how many tens are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have here 9 tens. Again, to write the number, copy the number and add 0. 9 tens is 9 and 0, 90. Then write the number word for 90. Did you get it correctly, KGs? Very good. Again, you may also do skip counting. If it is easier for you to do skip counting, it's fine, KG. If it is easier for you to just count how many groups and add zero, no problem with me as well. Okay, number six. Now, let's write the missing numbers. Mike writes a pattern. He forgets to write some numbers. What numbers did Mike forget to write? To answer this, you may simply complete the numbers as if writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on, and add 0. Or you may do skip counting as well. 10, 20, 30, what's next, KG? Very good, 40, 50, then you have here 60, 70, what's next? You're correct, 80, 90, and then 100. Very good gauges. Again, remember uh, the technique of doing that, of counting large numbers or large groups of counters. Simply count how many groups and add zeros. Did you get it now? Very good. Good job for you. So, for your homework, please do page 878. And everyone is expected to finish all the classwork and homework, then send all their works in our WhatsApp group. Thank you, KGs. Have a nice day.